They are the hero father and son who rescued little Aiden McCarthy from the carnage in Highland Park. Tom Brooks and his son Morgan had just arrived at the parade when the shots rang out. As the panic crowd scrambled to get away, they saw little Aiden pinned under his grievously wounded dad. And Morgan says, there's a boy, dad. And I said, let's go. And he's like, no, there's a boy. I didn't register at first. And then he showed me, he said, there he is. And he was like, let's go get him. I'm like, let's go get him. I tried to pull the boy from a nurse father by his arms, but he was, he was underneath him pretty good. So I think Morgan at the time helped me or helped, you know, held the guy get up a little bit, moved him up just enough so we can pull out Aiden from under his father. Kevin McCarthy was still breathing, clinging to life, blood pouring from multiple gunshot wounds. His wife, Irina, close by, apparently already dead. He was breathing, but he wasn't saying anything. He wasn't able to uh, speak, but he was able to breathe. They say Aiden, who was covered in his dad's blood, remained calm. You mentioned Aiden was talking. Uh, he was saying things. What was he saying? He said, dad shot, mom shot. And I would say to him, everything's going to be fine. I didn't know his name. You know, I, I didn't know. I was just talking to him, telling him everything's going to be fine. And that was, he just kept on saying that over and over again. He wasn't crying, very calm, you know, very wide-eyed. When we pulled him out from under his father, we inspected him, pulled his shirt up, because um, he had blood all over him. The brave little boy is now an orphan. What will he remember of the awful day that changed his life forever? How do you tell a two-year-old that his parents are not coming back? Sooner rather than later is better, as difficult as it is, because if you wait too long, then Aiden might feel like he was deceived in some way. It can actually cause a different type of traumatic reaction where he was expecting his parents to come back at some point for months before he finds out that they're never coming back. As Kevin McCarthy lay dying, this brave father and son tried to comfort him. We spoke to him at the end. We, we were telling him that his son's going to be okay. He's going to be okay. His son is safe. You know, that's what we were, that's what we were telling him. They want the world to know that Kevin did everything he could to protect his son. You saw it. This man was saving his son's life. He was shielding his son in the last moments of his life. True hero. Unbelievable.